Hi, I'm Rachel from Little Vintage Photography. I'm going to share with you a small selection of my film cameras. Uh, so this is from my collection that I use and that I teach other people how to use as well. So this camera here is what you call a twin lens reflex camera. That means um, that you've got the two lenses here, sometimes called a TLR, twin lens reflex. It's from the mid 1940s. This one I call Winston. He's very lovely. And basically what you do is you would load Winston up with a roll of film. So it's something called medium format film and it comes in rolls like this. That would go into the back of the camera and you would frame up your image using a top-down view. So the way of doing a top-down view, rather than holding it up to your face and looking through a viewfinder, you actually have this area at the top of the camera here. So instead what you'd do is you would look straight down and frame up your shot like that. Moving on from the 1940s with the TLR, we then have something like this from the mid 1950s. There we go. This one is an Ensign full view and this is effectively a black box. And again, we're using a top down view in order to see our image. So we would look in to the top here. You'd put your roll of film, something like this, into the back of the camera, you would wind it to the right point, you would frame it by doing a top-down view again uh, to frame up your image and then press the shutter here which would open up this little lens, let in the light and mean that you would take the image. Now this was um, a much simpler version of the TLR that we looked at from the 1940s. Those ones were the kind of professional uh, sort of camera uh, this one is to make photography much more accessible to more people because it's effectively a black box with film inside and a simple shutter at the front in order to let the light in. Moving on from the 1950s, we're now going into the 1960s, swinging 60s, and you get something like this. Now this is an Olympus Trip 35. It's a beautiful little piece of design, a very pocketable camera, it's a lot smaller. This time we're starting to lift it up to our eye to look through and take the photograph rather than the top down view. This takes a slightly different format of film. It's called 35 millimeter film, comes in a cartridge like this um, or a box, something like that. Um, as with the uh, medium format, you can choose whether you're shooting with black and white film or color film. Now the 35 millimeter film actually gives you 30 up to 36 frames or 36 photos on one of these rolls as opposed to with the medium format where you get between 12 and 16 usually. We're then moving into the 1970s and 80s. So this is what we call an SLR as opposed to a TLR. So TLR stood for twin lens reflex and SLR stands for single lens reflex. You may be able to tell why, because obviously we have a single lens and it works in this very similar way in that when I press this, um, the shutter would open, it lets in light and that takes the photograph. It also takes the 35 millimeter film that would get loaded into the back here. And effectively what you're doing then is manually focusing by looking through the lens. If you've got any questions about analog photography, processes, alternative techniques, if you want to try out a few more things or have any questions, drop me a line. I am on littlevintagephotography.co.uk and I look forward to hearing from you soon.